evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Priming, and welcome back to Let's Make a Game. So, um, before I get started, the first thing I wanted to do tonight was I wanted to switch from R8 uh, to R15. And to do that, I came to um, Home, Game Settings, Avatar, and then I said, you know what, I'll do the, the R throw. And I hit it. Sure enough, it got me R15, the player choice, the inner box, all that good stuff. And I'm like, oh, nice. Look at that. That's amazing. I love it. So I hit F5 and realized it completely broke me. <laughs> I no longer have left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. I've got a whole bunch of different parts. So we're going to have to change the floaty service um, just so we can run at all. Um, so, um, yeah. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Um, Let's see, what was it? It was it's under um, user scripts. There we go. By the way, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, um, yes, this is going to be like development and everything else. It's not a tutorial. Okay, this is me developing a game and showing you what I do for my process and everything else. I'm creating a game, and I hope that you guys are going to like it. Um, the other thing is, a lot of people in the comments of yesterday's video were like. It's not voxel. It's game. It's a uh, game shading. It's uh, shadow world shadow stuff. So I came in here and I was playing with the sun rays and stuff like that. And it's just what? Okay. Um. So I let's see lighting, voxel, right? And there's shadow mapping, which that, that looked kind of like what he was doing. But I could have sworn if I switch over to voxel. Right? So it, it must be, it's shadow mapping, right? Because that's, that looks a lot more like the, the shadows that were. Um, what does that look like? Hold on, can we see? That does look a lot like it, a lot more like it. What's the difference between voxel? See, I liked Voxel just because, like, I could go to um, Exposure and put it up to, like, 0.5, and it became really nice. Like, oh, wow, it's kind of cool. Um, all right, let's switch that back over. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, we're not in land anymore. Or in lighting. Or in land. Um, so what happens if I do Exposure and then I switch the technology over to Shadow Map? Does it really matter? Does it matter? Exposure 10. Oops. Oh, yeah, like that's playable. Um, let's go back down to one. Ooh, one still seems very, and it, like, it's very angelic. Um, what happens if we go to 24? Yeah, that's too bright. Exposure, set that back down to zero. And I clicked it again. That's one thing I really don't like. I don't like clicking over here and it all of a sudden just switches. Uh, let's go into lights. Lighting. Um, I like the fog. I'm gonna keep the fog the way it is. Um, <clears throat> time of day we're gonna set back to 12. Um, and I'm not gonna copy him because I like the voxel. The voxel shading is very nice. In fact, um, I do. I wanted to kind of show you this game that I found the other day. It's called Voxel C CG 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 Lighting. Anyhow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show this to you real quick because it is amazing looking, and I want this lighting for um, my lumber. So, Tyler. Oh gosh. Stop, 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 stop. Settings, shh, quiet, quiet you. I have to turn off the sound because I don't know if it's a copyright and copywritten or not. But look at this, like, this is amazing lighting. Could you imagine having this in lumber? Like what if, could you imagine the Shrine of Sight with this kind of lighting on it? So, hi Code, hi. Uh, Rob Tips, is that Plugly? Rob Tips TV. But look at this, like, see how that was purple and it like blended into pink and then blues. There are so many things you could do 
with this. Hi, I'm Wreck right now. <laughs> hey, buddy, what's up? Wow, even even your avatar in that lighting looks awesome. <laughs> Who watch videos? Who watches the vids? His tree, I don't like the trees, so we're not we're not going to bother with those kind of trees. They're too too thin. We're not chopping sticks here. And then uh, there's that really cool thing over there, which is I think it's just a mesh. Anyhow, anyhow, that's uh, that's that, and I don't know how to get that in here. Um, wait, does he say anything about it down here? Xbox will soon get this technology, and the technology doesn't work on um, Xbox or mobile yet. Oh, and by the way, I tried playing my game on mobile, and pfft, there are no controls. Like, um, hold on, let's hit a five. I broke my game. I gotta fix these. So that's that's first things first. Star player, star player scripts. Um, let's go to water floaties. Okay, that's where everything's at. If parent equals torso or any of these parts, I'm gonna take out all of these parts. Uh, do we still have these parts under player? Mm, is body parts. Um, hold on. Return part. Um, Oh gosh, oh gosh, we we spent a lot of time on this one, didn't we? And it still didn't work properly, so. All right, uh, we are gonna have a tor torso and a head, so let's take out all the arms and legs and stuff. Torso, is it's gonna be upper torso, lower torso, isn't it? So we have to go off the humanoid root part and look around in the body for a humanoid root part, I think. Let's hit F5, see what breaks. Workspace floaties return unknown symbol during near return. All right, um, all these floaties we can get rid of. HRP humanoid root part. I remember that. Um, the heads and the arms. Let's see, leave torso. Um, I can look to see what I've got now. So, where's code primate? What do I have? Ooh, that's a lot. And we don't have a torso. We have an upper torso. We have a lower torso. But we still have a humanoid root part. So, I think that's what we are going to have to go off of. Humanoid root part has got to be our main piece to this little puzzle. Um, little floaties. We can get rid of all the little floaties. Um, do, 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 do. wait, hold on, put that back, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, I'm going to have to do like all the parts under the model, left hand, left, left, wow, that's a lot of parts. Okay. Um, here, hold on. Real quick. Let me show you that I got this. Man, my guy looks like, sup bros? Ugh, just hanging out here in <laughs> my game. So, uh, the ice ball. Oh, gosh. Right arm. <gasps> That's not going to work either. I just broke all of it oh no okay so let's go let's go pick up the axe and see what gets triggered well i'm triggered that's what um okay so i pick up the axe go to workspace um oh man i can't believe i broke my game this hard not intended uh code primate code primate code primate there we go <clears throat> um pre alpha axe we go uh, and it's the right hand right right hand has an attachment yep it 
it's got a weld called right grip. So I have to look under the right hand. Do, 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 do. Yo. Here we go. It's not called right arm anymore. Look for right hand. Stop. Play. Oh man. So many things are broken now. Wait, what? I did right hand. Uh, right hand is not a valid member of the model. Sure it is. If not character right hand. Okay. Character. What is character? Local character. Okay. Character right hand. Alright, so let's look under character right there. Right hand. I have a right hand. Oh <laughs> uh, there's a space. There's no there there is no space. There we go. Hit play. Does that work? Alright. See? Alright, let's try again. Breaking everything. Just breaking the entire world around me. Oh good, my grip is fixed. Oh gosh, that was scary. So if you pick up an axe or something like that, you won't be able to... Uh... Oh, my menus still pop up. By the way, I fixed, uh, I changed the menu. Somebody had uh, done some in paint.net for me. And I'm like, oh gosh, I already changed it all. So I worked on the uh, the grab text and the uh, context during lunch today. Or, yeah, lunch today. So there's my E. And that's that's got to change because it's not going to be E for like mobile players and stuff like that, right? And it still doesn't look quite centered on that green. I might come over and up just a pixel. But I am able to grab. We are able to toss in the water. It freezes. Yay. And my run looks silly. <laughs> but there's also context here. So like, if the ball's not there and you, you're missing it and you're like, oh my gosh, code, somebody has ruined your game. The ball's not there. Press E to create a new ball. Yay. Now there is some weirdness there because like, I guess it didn't. Yeah, it worked. Hmm. Okay. Cool. There we go. It, you you have to move around. Oh gosh. Unexpected while invoking callback. Index context R E and nil value. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Stop. 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 So, I'm gonna have to fix that or put some kind of delay on it. Anyhow, it's working. We are getting context. Which means the next step is going to be uh, putting uh, E to check boxes and uh, a store manager. Store manager is actually going to work a little bit different. But I will uh, I'll do that here in a second. I gotta fix the floaties. And the, uh, the damage script. Because I don't want you guys jumping in here being like, Oh code, I just, I can run through the thing and I'm not getting hurt or anything. So, oh, dude, nice. <laughs> All right. Is this is this going to look? It's going to look weird for a little bit, isn't it? Hmm. I don't look quite right. Like that. I mean, I know I'm R15 and all, but is there is it here? Let's hit stop. Let's go. Let's go play with my avatar for a second. Um, avatar. Switch over to the R15. You know, I've I've not changed my avatar in forever. Switch over to 3D. Hmm. Do I, do I not have an arthro type body type? Oh. 
<laughs> do I, real quick, do I have my uh, my costume saved? My costumes. Okay, I do have my costume saved. Uh, just in case. Let's see. Let's see, create new costume. Um, code R8-2019. Let's go ahead and create that, that costume right now. That way we don't lose it. Uh, and then let's go over to body types. <laughs> There's no just Arthro, is there? Uh, the city life woman, city life man. I've not tested some of these. Star Miss Fairy. What? <laughs> uh, the WWE, Seth Rollins. Oh, gosh. What am I doing to my avatar? The man. I the man. That's oh, it's Becky. <laughs> um Hold on, isn't there like whole avatars? Inventory, avatar animations. <clears throat> These are just hats, aren't they? Where is, um, let's see, avatar presets. How do I, how do I switch to an avatar preset? I guess I have to go into avatar, don't I? Uh, costumes, preset costumes. Ah, there we go. Aurora. Roma, Star Mist Fairy, The Hamburger, <laughs> no, Harbinger, let's see, City Life, I don't even know if these are going to look right, oh gosh, alright, let's try uh, Seth, WWE, let's do that, yeah. I just double click. Does that work? All right, let's go and play. See what it'll look like. There we go. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's too cool. Can I do this? Let's do um, code primate. Take a copy. Hit stop. And right click paste into workspace. All right, let's move this right over here. Rotate. There we go. So now let's go back over and change into my costume of that. Now, if I go and play, I should be able to see in comparison, what my avatar looks like. Okay. That feels odd. <laughs> uh, hold on, let's see. Because uh, <clears throat> my other avatar, he should still be R15, right? Yeah. What's up, bro? What's up, little bro? Hey, it's like my little brother here. <laughs> Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Dude, even the wings are like expanded and stretched. That's uh, that's pretty cool. That's cool. Okay. And uh, there were a lot of people going, No, Code, you forgot to anchor your, uh, your shelves. No, I forgot to unanchor the first shelf. So those are now all good and ready for explosions and playing and you, you just you can't pick them up so you can't pick up the shelf itself but you can mess them up and they should reset 
I think. I don't remember how long it takes to reset, though. The shelves should be a resettable item. That's something I was working on the other day. Maybe. If, uh, if I remember right. That's the steering angle. Water floaties script. What is that? Oh, that's the, the thing that makes the box look at me. <clears throat> so let's go to shops, wood store, resetter. That's what it is. So, yeah, should be every 30 seconds. Is it not running? It's enabled. Mm. Oh, I forgot to reset those. Okay, so let's take these out. Because I did have it where the script was inside the sellable items. Like the, the sold here folder. So, basically, there's a folder called sold here. Okay? And the, like the wood shop itself is going to have a script called the resetter. It's going to go through the list of items that are inside the sold here or additional items like the shelves. And it's going to take that object and its C frame and put it back to its original place. That way it'll, it'll automatically reset. If the, if the object isn't there or if the object isn't in its place, it should reset. And I can give it a variable. So like if a, if a box gets knocked uh, a few centimeters to the left or to the right, it's okay. It'll, it won't re-res the entire box. But if the box is bought, I want it to go into no collide and drop through the floor just like in lumber. I mean, you don't actually have to do that. I could just destroy the box and replace the box with the thing that you opened. So it's really up to me at this point, And that's what the store resetter is going to do. It'll, it'll keep an eye on that. But, oh, floaties, floaties, code. Oh my gosh, 22 minutes into the game and, and into the video and you still haven't set the floaties. Okay, so we can't use torso anymore. Man, gonna have to use humanoid root part. What about head? Head didn't change, right? Let's see, uh, hit F5, oh. Workspace, code prime eight. Not that one. Uh, let's change this to WWE Code Primate. And we're looking for this Code Primate. Let's see. Do we have a head? Yeah, we got a head. Okay. So, I have a head. <laughs> and I got a humanoid root part. Torso has now been split into upper torso, lower to torso. All this other stuff. Uh-oh. O dot C frame equals the list I two workspace unknown symbol near return. All right, C frame is not a valid member of model. Mm. Wait, what? Let's see. It was going into shelf. Dot shelf. Well, I didn't. I didn't want a C frame of the model. Okay, hold on. Shelf one, shelf two, shelf three. Dot shelf. That's got a. That's got a part. A C. A C part. Hmm. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure that that's what we landed on, or that's what's got gotten it messed up. So, shelf one, shelf one, shelf, right? <clears throat> the list I two. The first part. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Comma. Wait, okay. What do I do here? 
insert the list, index. Gotcha, okay. So I forgot to add an indexer to them. All right, let's take out the shelves for the moment. Wait, why do I need to do that? If I just add the object, oh, because once the object moves, the C-frame would change as well. So I just need to add the original C-frame. So add to the list. And if I do this one like that, and then I do comma, 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 and then I do that shelf dot C frame, that should work, right? Uh, just see, copy these. That's a lot of scripts for not so much compensation, but worth it because I want you to be able to mess up the, uh, the shop. One of my favorite things to do inside Lumber Tycoon 2 is going and just knocking everything off the shelves. And I really wish like you could push the shelves over and like mess up the boxes and everything. And Tom would be like, that's okay, sir. Be free and break everything that you'd like. I'll just put it back and you have fun. You know, that would, that would just tickle me pink. I would be like, Tom, you're so funny. Thank you for being so amazingly cool. And I will, that's what I'm, I'm doing. I'm trying to get the shelves in there though. Right, grab that, oh, come here. Wee, wee. It's also why I haven't fixed like the toss ability. All right, let's throw the shelves, throw the shelves. All right, shelves are thrown. 30 seconds. Oh, thank you for the subscribe. No, we broke it again. C-Frame is not a valid member of model. What are you talking about? All right, um, let's do this. For each one of these, and I'm gonna change this to, let's change this to like 10 seconds so I can see it right off the bat. <clears throat> We're going to print o.name. That way we can see what we're working with. 10 seconds, off we go. <clears throat> By the way, that is a test box, and I did put the thing in it, but it's not, okay. Shelf two. Shelf two dot shelf. Shelf two. But why did it add the shelf two? I want the shelf two dot shelf. Shelf two dot shelf. Hmm. Let's go back in the shop. Wood shop. Shelf two. Shelf two. Shelf. Paste shelf because it didn't it didn't break on shelf one. Copy that one, paste. Copy that one, paste. Shelf three. Copy. Paste, paste, shelf, copy. This is just to make sure that I didn't misspell something, have something in there that's messed up or weird. All right, let's hit stop and play again. <clears throat> Ooh, and I could also do this. Um, so, hashtag, the list plus one. So that'll return the amount plus two and plus three.
commas. I need commas in there as well. There. There we go. Go. Water floaties are still broken. 10 seconds. Come on. Come on. 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, I see what I did. So it doesn't, it has no clue what, okay. <clears throat> so, close up the main area, close up the land, close up the spawns. We got stop on there? Okay, so, shop, wood store, here. Okay, so we need to go, resetter is the, the script, parent, oh no, that we're in the right thing. Resetter goes to parent, which would be the wood store. And then we do shelf one. Why did it? Oh, script dot parent. No. Dot sold here. Get children. And then all these are test boxes. Script dot parent sold here and it could be so obvious I bet you guys are sitting there just watching me go like struggle through this aren't you oh gosh all right so um, right off the bat let's start from the very beginning I want to do print script dot parent let's see what that is script dot parent is wood store Okay, so, dot, uh, sold here, dot sold here, um, dot test box, test box, okay, so that should get all the test boxes in there. So script dot parent dot sold here, get children. So that should, so, okay. Print o dot name. This will print the object name so I can see it. Test box, 24 of them, great. That's awesome, that's what we want. So now, <laughs> let's print this. Print, paste, shelf dot name. Shelf one dot name is shelf. Okay. Shelf one dot name. Shelf one dot model. Uh, no, C frame. Model is the thing that's messing up, <coughs> messing me up. It's got a C frame. Okay. So the the setter does object and C frame. So we do object shelf and shelf C frame. So if I print this, this should be this exact same thing as what we have up there. So, if I print O and C frame, go. Test box and the C frame. Shelf and the C frame. Am I missing something? Shelf two is messing up. We're gonna do the same thing down here. Print, why am I messing with this? I mean, just don't let them mess up the, the shelves code, but I want to be able to mess up the, the shelves. That is like one of the most important things to me right now at this particular point in time. But it could also be my ADHD kid taken away with me. Stop, <clears throat> it could totally be my ADHD and I'm just being really obsessive about it. 
but it's it's like shelf, 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 shelf. Parent that get children. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. This entire time, it's been all correct. <laughs> How many of you saw that before I did? Oh my goodness. I don't want. All right, for I O in pairs script dot parent dot get children. I don't want that. I want the list. The list. We already have the object. What do we care? Go. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Hey, if this fixes it, and I spent this entire time, this entire 36 minutes, just trying to get the... Oh. <laughs> okay, that's going to be frustrating. By the way, I did notice that um, if you hit shift the first time, it doesn't immediately give it to you. It's because it's got to go to its check. So it has to check for you real quick. And it's it still seems really bright in here. So let's... Just throw these, throw these all around. Yay. Okay, come on, reset. Reset them. Yeah, we know that the water floaties are messed up. Wait, how often? Every 10 seconds, right? Wait for 10 seconds, then blast through the list. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Stopping. Maybe. Oh gosh. Did I lock it up? Oh, is it gonna crash? Okay. Data store request failed. The further request will be dropped. Try sending fewer requests. What? Oh, gotcha. Okay. Whatever. Do, 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 do. Okay. So we went through the, the list. And we do index i, which would be that. And then we do number two, which is the OC frame. <clears throat> but we actually set it to that C frame. Should we do okay? <clears throat> Local pose equals O dot C frame. So then we come back through here and we just say pose like that. And then when it comes back through, uh, let's do print resetting. This way we can indicate that we are going to do a reset and it's it's running through them. Yes, and I do realize that the, the car is broken, but I also I was doing some things, so. All right, it just said resetting, so. Let's grab some stuff, mess it up. Mess it up. There we go. Resetting, it did not reset. What are you doing? Is it still? It's still resetting. Three, four, and it does not actually reset. Okay, okay. If I try and loop through the stuff over there, I'm not going to get my shelves to uh, reset properly. <sighs> Print o.name. 
Because, I mean, we should be referencing the, uh, the object name themselves, right? Probably don't have to wait full 10 seconds. I bet I could go five. Resetting nil. Okay. Well then. How do I do this then? How do I do this? Hmm? Hmm? If I'm setting the object to the first object. Hmm. How did I do it before? I did the, the children, didn't I? Um, okay. So I'm just, I'm going to have to do this manually. Manually. Same way that I did, in the, in the same way that I got it in there. Uh, oh, wait. Um, okay. One, two, three. Oh, that's a lot of manual scripting. And this one here. Come here. Copy. And paste. <coughs> Dot C frame equals. Take this part out. I, I guess I don't need that second portion, do I? I just need the, uh, there we go. Equals for OI in pairs. This we can set back to O dot C frame. And we can take that out. So, it, ooh, not that. There we go. So basically what I'm doing is I'm looping through I O in pairs script sold here or script parent sold here uh, inside that folder. I'm going through every single one of the children. I get the um, object. I guess it doesn't really matter where the object name does it. I guess I could just use C frames. Let's just do C frame. So this should add the C frame in the order that we see it. And then that won't work if an object gets destroyed, will it? All right, don't don't change that yet. Let's just leave it the way it is because we can't destroy an object unless you like walk it over and throw it off the world, and then it would break the game. No, don't throw the objects off the world, or don't throw them out of the world. Although it happens all the time because of uh, glitches. So, uh, and then the list. We want um, hashtag the list plus one, just like that. And then object number two. Copy, paste, paste. One, two, three, plus two, plus three. Hopefully that works. That's a totally bad way to do it, code. Why did you do it like that? I don't know. Because I'm in a hurry. We're at 43 minutes already and I've, I've barely scripted anything. Oh gosh, broke it. Completely broke it. Oh, nil 27. O.CStream equals the list. Um, you know what? Take the shelves out for now because I got to get moving. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just do that just for now. I will fix the shelves or I'll, I'll set a different resetter so they're not in the same object or, or I could just set them into sold here. I could do that. Here, let's just, let's try this for now. See if I got the, the rest of these fixed. I don't want them to be in sold here though, because it's not a sellable item. Boxes are all messed up, and it didn't reset them. <laughs> no. Oh well. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to go to sleep until this is fixed. 
All right, uh, script parent sold here. All right, so let's take a look. Where are we? Script dot parent is wood store sold here for all these objects. So o dot c frame. If I don't put an index on it, does it just insert it into the table? Does that work? Insert into the list, get the list. Insert into the list, get the list. Yes? Does it does it break? Yeah, it broke. Still broke. Name is not a member of C frame. Oh, that's fine. I don't care if it's blah. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh. Cause we're still going off these pairs. Paste. Try that. If that works and it does a reset, then yay. Could that possibly be what was going on? Okay, it says resetting. 10 seconds, they should reset. Go. Ho! Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, so maybe I was just resetting the completely wrong thing. Okay. So we're, we're going to do table dot insert uh, the list comma <clears throat> script. Let's just let's find the shelves first. Uh, shelf one equals script dot parent dot shelf one dot shelf. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Uh, shelf one, shelf two, whoa, 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 shelf two, get out of there. Shelf three, done. Shelf two, shelf three. There we go. <clears throat> So then we want to insert insert into the list object.cframe. In our case, shelf one dot c frame. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Shelf one, shelf two, shelf three. And then we can say boink. And this is going to be instead of O, oh, it's going to be shelf one that one equals list i equals the list we want hashtag the list plus one so whatever the length of the list is plus one copy paste 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 two and three and these could mess up oh oh if the object gets destroyed or something like that. So we might have to be very specific about the name of the object and the thing that it is. We will need to be very specific. But for now, again, just plain. <laughs> you ever seen somebody rage quit studio? <laughs> Bad parameter, C frame expected, but got nil. Oh, okay. Why did you get nil? Table insert the list O dot C frame shelf one dot C frame shelf two dot C frame shelf three dot C frame. All right, shelf one dot C frame equals the list hashtag the list should okay here. Um, let's just do a print hashtag the list like that and it should tell me the amount <clears throat> the count 
stop, 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 stop. Play. Oh my gosh, for everybody who's still watching at this particular point in time, thank you. I did not realize that I was going to be going 50 minutes tonight. So I should get a number before it breaks. That number should correspond 27. If I go look in shops, wood store, sold here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24. So there's 24, 25, 26, 27. Um... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Silly. Minus three. 27, 26, 25. Oh, minus two. Minus one. And the last one. Because <laughs> it's reverse order of the things that we put in there. And the total amount is the thing that. Never mind. <laughs> Please don't break this time. Nickelodeon. Shaboom! Explosions. Boom! Destroy things. A boom! Reset the shelves. Yes! We have a resetter. The resets are working. We got R15. We've broken our floaties. Uh, of course, I don't have any cool secrets or out th anything out there yet. Um, but, you know. Doesn't mean there's stuff not hidden out there from me. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Let's Make a Game where I struggle and destroyed myself with some simple resets. Um, but I'm also, I'm changing the game up. We're gonna make it into R15. Um, I'm going to set the lighting to look like that other place of awesome. Uh, hey, if anybody knows that guy, uh, Tryler. Trailer 2? Hey, if you're out there, hey, come talk to me. I, I, what, what did you do here? It's amazing. I love it. Uh, anyhow, like I said, uh, thank you everyone for watching this episode. I'm sorry that I went that long for that much time, but I mean, I hope you got a lot of cool lessons and I hope you saw how badly I mess up code sometimes and how easily it is to work on a problem that's not really... Like, there were a couple times that I was just like, you know what? Why am I doing the shelves? Just drop it and just carry on. So... But I worked through it. Thank you, everyone. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We will talk to you very soon. <gasps> Outro.